Oh, we're live, but where's the microphone? There's the microphone. A lot of noise, a lot of happening, but we're good to go. We are good to go. Hey, it's Monday night. Do you know where your beers are at? Oh, that's a terrible joke. Hey, Anthony. I almost feel like I should redo that, but you know what? I'm not. You know why? Can't be asked to edit things. It's basically what it comes down to. If I'm being honest. Hey, how y'all doing? Ooh, what a day. Thunderstormy here in Toronto. Did you hear the thunder rumbling around? Thunder Road. Little Bruce. No. Um, yeah, I sure did. I was working in the rain. I even got a little wet. It wasn't too bad. It's actually kind of nice. And I ran this morning in the rain. That was really nice. Anyone out there like to exercise outside? A little bit of rain, a little bit of a breeze. Very comfortable. It's like uh, it's like free sweat. You don't even have to sweat. You're just wet to begin with. It's pretty good. Uh, that said, you do then get a lot of sweat in your eyes, which there are things I like more than that. Anyway, uh, hey, what's going on? How are we going? Monday night. Hey, look what I picked up. I had to go to Etobicoke yesterday. I had to go to Etobicoke. To pick up a guitar, I was buying specifically a bass guitar, specifically a Squire Precision with a J-Bass bridge pickup on it too. So that's nice. Going to overhaul that. If you want a U.S. quality uh, electronics, uh, actually better, going to use Rainville hand-wound pickups from uh, right here in Ontario with U.S. guts in a really sexy body. It's got a bass uh, boat crackle finish in purple. And I think I'm going to put a white... Ivoroid pick guard on and it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty guitar not gonna lie if you're looking for a bass look no further I don't think you're gonna find much better than that anyway I had to go to a Tobago to pick that up that's the point of this story and uh, of course while I was there I would be remiss not to visit our friends friends of the pod at Great Lakes Brewery and picked up this no chance with Miranda hello Jake um you ever had no chance with Miranda? It's a timeless classic. Sorry, Ginger just walked in and out. I thought for a minute she was volunteering to come on the pod again. She's not. Ginger's the reluctant podcaster. Um, yeah, no chance with Miranda. Have you had this? Have you had this beer? It is real special. I'll tell you about it. But let's just drink it first. Oh, nearly dropped my opener. Don't want to do that. A little bit of Foley. Glass bottle already. One of my favorites. That sounded very convincing. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to pour it. Let's get this. Uh, yeah, both cameras. Were, what? Oh, no, that's just a light reflection. I thought I would brought a branded glass from out there. I had not. Don't worry. Oh, look at the color on that. Hello, nurse. What do we got? Not like it's not it's not tur turbid. It's, it's opaque though kind of honey yellow little touches of brown in the middle beautiful bit of a white uh, soapy head there wasn't pouring for head so uh see if we can spin up a little bit more it's a pretty full glass i'm gonna drink this whole bottle uh yeah nice little white soapy head this is a barrel aged no chance with miranda just so you know uh so we're gonna get some barrel characteristics off of this i'm sure oh yeah Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what the barrel is specifically. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if it was a wine barrel. There's obviously oakiness and a vinous quality, but you can also get a vinous quality off of No Chance with Miranda. Spicy. Um, yeah, like... Yeah. Grape, like Venice, like I said, winey. We're going over the obvious. I am tired again today, guys. Not as bad as last week, but I'm not awake. I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, like um, maybe like candied lemon peel on the nose. And white pepper. And I'm trying to get the malt. It's 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 not even like it's not even particularly specialty. You just get a bit of a multi kind of, uh, well, like barley, uh, aroma in there too. Sort of sweet. Let's see how she goes. 
<laughs> Such a, an effervescent, prickly carbonated beer. Oh, yeah. I want another sip. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like white wine, oaky qualities a lot. Um, the oak is uh, not particularly vanilla. -y. It's 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 like fresh oaky. Um, again, maybe some like candied lemon peel or like sort of like cooked citrus a little. It's not like super juicy fresh. It's a bit more mellow than that, but like citrusy quality. Spices that are like white pepper for sure. Maybe some coriander in there. Something almost melony, maybe a little honeydew melon on the finish. And maybe some gooseberry. Do you know what a gooseberry tastes like? They're cool little berries. They come, they're like a tomatillo. Although, do you know what a tomatillo looks like? They have, they they come in uh, in its own little leafy almost looks like a little dried flower and you peel back these petals, these dried petals, and there's a little orange berry in the middle and they're, they're interesting. They're, they're tart and sweet. Uh, they're not like, they're not like sour cherry tart, but they have a tartness to them, sweetness. And like, uh, I don't want to say vegetal because people tend to think that that's a bad thing, but there's, they're not like, super berry like you know kind of like strawberries raspberries blackberries they have individual tastes but they have like a very distinguishedly berry kind of thing gooseberries don't have quite that much of that um they taste a little bit different anyway uh how do you describe the taste of something by comparing it to other things uh this has got some gooseberry in it uh, i would say personally have i even told you what this beer is it's no chance with miranda which I think is just, have I even told you what this beer is? It's no chance with Miranda, which I think is just a straight Saison. I think, but uh, there's an easy way to find out because Great Lakes sent me an email just a few minutes before I started this call. Call? podcast what are we talking about and i just am gonna see i thought i just saw it there it is does that take me right to it that's the question how good is this email it just takes me to the, the store which is fine uh no it's not even the store this is really not going well maybe i'm more tired than i gave myself credit for guys okay we're gonna do it this way no chance with miranda they just call it a straight saison. It's uh, it's eight, no, not eight, 6.8, 6.7% in the barrel version. I wasn't sure if they were calling it imperial or not. Um, but this is a uh, beautiful, spicy, slightly tart, barrel aged uh, saison. They do have it in a non barrel aged um, version as well, uh, which is also delicious uh but uh i'm a bit of a sucker for a barrel age saison um and this one does it dry it's uh it's got a tartness and it's quite dry on the finish um body is um on the light side which is what you would expect and as i said a very pleasingly prickly carbonation mm. taking another sip huh Candied li uh, lemon peel, maybe a little limey actually. Kind of pithy lime, gooseberries, white pepper. Yeah, I get that. I get that all. Oh, and look, they say that we should serve it in a tulip glass. And look what I'm serving it in. I'm serving it in a tulip glass. Wow. What can I say, guys? This ain't my first rodeo. This is really good. Uh, available at the uh, uh, at the Elsevier. No, no, no. The Great Lakes. The Great Lakes retail store. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I didn't think I was feeling as bad as I was, but I am 
I'm out to lunch right now. I can't keep string two thoughts together. Um, so, uh, what are we going to eat with this delicious, delightful beer? This is a really good opportunity to eat some mussels. And I haven't talked about mussels in a little while. What I want you to do with your mussels, um, feel free to use the beer to cook it in. That's always a great idea. Or use another Belgian style beer. Uh, that would be fine. White wine, that's going to work too. It's got some, like I said, some Venice notes. So th those are going to work well together. Um, but saisons and mussels do really well together, I think, uh, personally. So I would do that for flavoring. Go towards licorice. Yeah, anisette. Maybe uh, some like uh, Florentine fennel, like bulb fennel. We're borrowing that, uh, some dried fennel. Oh, hey, babe. Uh, similarly, maybe some tarragon could be really nice in there. That'd be good. I'd be down with that. You could even use a little basil, or if you wanted to get really crazy, you could use some Thai basil, a little more peppery. That would be nice. And then some frites or bread, but I would do frites. And that's going to be a real nice night if you have that, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's such a good beer. Uh, no chance with Miranda. I remember when it first came out, it's an interesting name for a beer. And what it comes from is, um, why am I blanking on the name of that bar that Mike Lackey from Great Lakes and a number of people really love? Oh, like I said, guys, there's something wrong with my brain tonight. Um, hey, if you're watching this, let me flip back to YouTube. And you want to comment. What's the name of the bar I'm thinking of? Uh... It's on Bluer. Bryden's. Thank you, Anthony. That is exactly the name, and I needed that. Whew, it's a team lift tonight, guys. Oh, my golly. Uh, Bryden's. Used to have a bartender named Miranda. She was um, renowned for her, uh, her, her character and her beauty. She was quite something. I don't think I've ever met her personally. Uh, but apparently a number of, of customers thought that they had a chance uh, but, uh, as most people who spend a lot of time in bars know, you can mistake the friendliness of a bartender for a flirtatiousness. Um, but the reality was you had no chance with Miranda and that is where the name of that beer comes from. Uh, and I believe now Miranda is not only married, but I believe has a child or children, uh, from what I've heard. So good for her, Miranda. Cheers. Mm mm mm. Delicious beer, whether that story is apocryphal or not. Um, oh, I'm getting told by YouTube that my connection is unstable and they're trying to reconnect. So if you're watching on YouTube and I just disappeared, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Storm State. How you guys doing? Um, really delicious. Uh, available in these beautiful uh, 500, I'm assuming, mil bottles. Yep, 500 mil bottles at the retail right now. Tons of great stuff. The what's available retail board when I was in there was crazy. It was like war and peace up in there. It's great. So tons and tons of nice things at Great Lakes right now. And like I said, they just sent me their uh, their newsletter. There's Meet the Porters, Hayes Mama Classic. Obviously, Burst is in Octopus. Gosh, I love that. I picked up some tins of the, just the straight up Great Lakes lager. What a nice lager. Just does what it says on the can. Lagers. I like it. So uh, check them out. I don't know if their patio is open, but certainly the retail is open. I don't think the patio is yet. A couple of breweries, Godspeed as well, I think, said, we're going to hold off on the patio. If you want a patio, support a bar. They need your business more than we do right now, which is a noble thing to do, and I respect that. So, uh, But check them out. They're obviously still doing home delivery. As Mandy said, that toothpaste might not go back in the tube. We might have this from now on, and that would be fantastic. Um, what else we got going down? I don't know. I'm zonked. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, everything's reopening. So as noted, please go enjoy some patios. If you are in a place with patios that are open, like Toronto, uh, especially the, the cafe TO ones on the roadside. These are great. I love this. I know it pisses off a lot of people with the traffic and everything, man, what a great opportunity. Um, so yeah, especially oh, bars are just at their wits end. So if you have money, please, Take it and go and spend it at uh, at a at a bar. Uh, spend a lot at the bar. That would be great. Uh, tip way more generously than you typically would. You don't have to do that forever, okay? 
but tip way more generously for now than you typically would have uh, on on a on a bar tab. And also remember to be patient. Um, you're dealing with bartenders who had like what four days of patio in March and otherwise haven't been working for like a year and a half. They're going to be a little rusty. Okay, give them a bit of time. You know, some orders might get confused. Some drinks might get spilled. I don't know. Just be patient. Tip the crap out of your servers. Uh, and yeah, like I say, if you're in a position with money and you can go out, go out and enjoy it. It's a, it's beautiful out there. The patios are delightful and full of happy people. Even today, as I was driving uh, from where I start work to where I then work delivering mail, it was raining and the patios along Queen were still full. Uh, same on Sunday I, when I was going to pick up that guitar. Everywhere I went, pouring down rain at certain parts, people under the umbrellas on patios just living their best life. So if you want to get in on that, I would say that you couldn't you couldn't find a better thing to do in these beautiful, warm, sunny days uh, than support some local bars, uh, sit under the patio umbrellas, sit in the full sun, sit wherever you like that's legal, and uh, get some beers into you, get some food into you, have a really good time. Um, what else we got going on? Not a whole lot. Next week, Jordan's going to be on. At least last I heard, he hasn't canceled. So as long as that goes, uh, uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. Jordan's going to be fun to hang out with. I got to make sure I get a good night's sleep Sunday night because I can't be like this when I'm talking to Jordan. I'm going to be way out of my depth if that happens. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. This one's short. I'm only at like 16 minutes. I feel like I should do or say something else, but I got nothing, guys. I got nothing, and my brain feels like it's dripping out of my nose. Ugh, I got to do better getting to bed. We were making sourdough bread last night later than we were supposed to be. And by we, I do mean me. Uh, so it was a bit of a do, but uh, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to shut her down. I know some people have just kind of come on. I'm sorry if you just joined in, um, but I had a run, but this has been fun. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next Monday, probably with Jordan St. John. So you're going to want to tune into that one. It's going to be quality. And I think we're drinking mascot. So I got to look into getting some mascot beer. I like it. I like the sound of that already. So uh, yeah, I think if you got any questions for Jordan, you can post them in the comments while we're talking and I will do my best to ask him if you got questions about the Ontario craft beer scene. Not a lot of people know more than him. Uh, him and Robin literally wrote the book on it. So uh, a good resource. So uh, hit me up here, questions on social, questions in the chat, whatever. And uh, we'll hang out with Jordan next week. And until then, drink beer on patios, tip your servers way more than you normally would, and be patient with each other and with them. Uh, but otherwise, have a fantastic week. And I'll be back here in seven days.